Michael Campbell here with Pacific Pearl Catering and getting ready to open up uh, Pacific Pearl Cafe down in San Juan Capistrano. I'm here today at the Ecology Center working with a harvest box. So what we're going to be making today is um, a little uh, roasted butternut squash polenta. We're going to use uh, some red flint polenta that was grown here at the Ecology Center. We've got uh, also a salad with some little gem lettuces, some uh, orange, uh, red onion, and kohlrabi as well. Okay, so I've got um, some water here, lightly salted. Uh, what I do with the polenta is we have uh, four parts water to one part polenta. And we're gonna gradually add that in. We're gonna make sure we whisk it till it comes back up to a boil. And then we're gonna cut the heat down a little bit. Got a little garlic going in there as well. We just get a nice fine slice on that garlic and it'll pretty much melt during the cooking process. The polenta is going to be on here for about uh, 35 minutes and um, we'll gradually stir it, occasionally stir it, and then definitely keep it covered. Once it comes back up to a, a rolling boil, uh, we turn it down to low. It's like lava shooting out of there and then just keep a cover on it. All right, and then the next thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna make a little terra torre sauce, which is kind of like a, um, a Hungarian pesto. Uh, we've got some walnuts here that come from Arnett Farms. We're gonna go in a cast iron with a good amount of olive oil in there, and then we're just gonna toast these. A Little bit of salt. And we'll take some of this uh, purple kale and do a rough chop on it. And then once these walnuts get to fry up a little bit in the pan, we'll add this, but not before then. And then we're also gonna take a couple more cloves of garlic, throw those right in there with the walnuts. Okay, so I've got about uh, one cup of raw walnuts, about four ounces of olive oil, and uh, eight heads of garlic. In the meantime, we also have some uh, kohlrabi that we're gonna use here. We're gonna do a quick pickle on this. Kohlrabi gives uh, a nice crispness to this salad. Um, very mild in flavor, uh, great texture. So I definitely wanna keep an eye on the polenta here in the back. It'll have the tendency to stick to the bottom, so we just wanna make sure, giving it a stir every couple of minutes or so. Now my walnuts and garlic are starting to sizzle here. Give it a little bit more time so you start getting that uh, toasty garlic and nut aroma. And then with the kohlrabi, um, I like to do it on a mandolin, so it's almost like a coleslaw type of texture. So we have our julienne kohlrabi, and then we're gonna get a little bit of uh, the golden balsamic vinegar on there. A Little bit of salt. Okay, starting to get a little bit of color on the uh, walnuts and garlic here. I'm gonna hit it with this kale. Careful, because it's gonna pop at you. And this kale is nice and tender, so you don't really wanna cook it too much. You just get a little bit of that uh, brightness of the green when you saute it. So we'll take that out. And we're gonna let this cool over here. For the butternut squash, um, we're gonna add this to the polenta. It adds a nice creamy body to the polenta. So we just cut it as close to in half as we can, scoop out the seeds. And I like to make little uh, crosshatch marks so the salt and other seasonings permeate. And I'll use this same pan here. Just a little salt and olive oil. So these are gonna go in the oven for about uh, one hour depending on your oven strength. It's gonna be best to cover it, a little bit of foil. Temperature's gonna be at 350. So yeah, we'll check it after an hour. Finish this salad over here. So we'll take some uh, oranges here. 
I like to cut out the membrane, segmented oranges here, uh, ready to go. We're going to throw that in with the kohlrabi. This is going to be the basis for our vinaigrette. Use a little more of the orange for the juice. We'll hit it with a little more uh, white balsamic. And we'll just stream in some of this olive oil here. We'll let that macerate for a little bit here. If the polenta starts to tighten up a little bit, more than like a thick cement, then we'll need to add a little more water. But this is about the consistency that we want it at right now. As well as a uh, spicy green salad mix that they always have uh, bagged up here at the Ecology Center. Got some different radicchios in here, Castelfranco radicchio. Got a little bit of uh, red onion that we're gonna julienne and throw right into the vinaigrette as well. I like to let the uh, onion kind of macerate in the vinaigrette a little bit. The acid from the uh, citrus calms it down and makes it a lot less sulfuric. We also have a little uh, Aleppo pepper that we'll use in here. It's a nice mild earthy pepper. And I also picked up some baby fennel here uh, yesterday and then just put a quick pickle on it as well just by blanching it. A little bit of the golden balsamic vinaigrette or the uh, golden balsamic vinegar, uh, a little salt. So we have the blanched and shaved fennel. And then we'll take some of this onion here. We're going to go ahead and throw that into the polenta as well. So we've got a little shaved garlic, uh, a little onion, and that's just going to cook right down to <clears throat> super soft. You're not even going to notice it's in there, but adds a little dimension of flavor to that polenta. At this time, we'll get a little, uh, little more salt, a little oregano, and fresh pepper into the polenta. So we can do the butternut squash ahead of time as well. It's going to make it a lot easier to handle as we uh, get ready to throw it into the polenta. So after about an hour's time, when it's nice and soft, we're just going to be able to Scoop it right out of there. Uh, if it's not soft, when you poke it with a knife in the back, then you just want to keep it going. I mean, sometimes, it, depending on the uh, water content of the squash, it can take up to two hours to cook all the way through. Okay, we're getting ready to plate some of the uh, lettuces here for the salad, and uh, then we're gonna chop up the kale and walnut mix. Um, so again, we've got these uh, little gems. I like to keep them as whole as possible. So you can kind of see the natural shape. But I also like to take the core out here. Got a couple of those on the plate. And this nice sweet orange and the olive oil and the sweetness of the fennel really balance out the bitterness of some of these uh, radicchios as well. I do a nice layer of the vinaigrette right on top of that, and then we do another layer of the lettuces as well. Plenty of dressing. It's not too heavy. It's balanced out by the sweetness of the orange. A couple more radishes right on top. Now our salad will be ready to serve here. The next thing we're going to do is take our... Uh, Walnuts, roasted garlic, and kale that have kind of cooled down a little bit to the touch. I'm gonna get that on our board. Again, this is almost like a uh, pesto sauce, a little bit heavier on the nuts and not as herbaceous, but uh, the walnuts really give the polenta a little bit of texture. Then we'll get it back into the bowl, check for seasoning. Okay, and then this is just going to top the um, the polenta once that's ready. So we've got the squash mixing in with the polenta right now. It's going to give it a nice little bit of creaminess. And uh, we can finish it with just a little bit of olive oil. I also like to throw a little bit of butter in there too. 
and Parmesan cheese, but that can definitely be omitted if you wanted to keep it vegan, not a problem. So we'll continue to let the cheese and the butter melt in there as we stir it in to get it nice and creamy. I like to add just a touch of vinegar just to balance out some of the richness of the polenta. Maybe use some of that reserved squash that we have over here. And we'll just take a little bit of the uh, walnut and kale tartare, spoon it along the side, a little more Aleppo, and then we'll just top it off with a little bit of olive oil. And there we have it, a little roasted butternut squash red phlegm polenta with walnut and kale tartare sauce.